friends in the previous tutorials of this course of compiler design we have learned how to compute the follow set and first set in this tutorial of compiler design we will learn how we can construct a predictive parsing table or ll1 parsing table through the help of first set and follow set predictive parsing table or ll1 parsing table is also known as by the name of m table so in this tutorial we will compute a predictive parsing table from a given set of grammar so let's begin with the uh, our example number 1 on how we can find a predictive parsing table from a given set of grammar we have a grammar this example this example number 1 we have a grammar which produces s gives a a a small b where capital a is non terminals and small b is a capital a is a non terminal and small a and b are terminals or capital b small b capital b small a and it also produces a which produces epsilon and b it also produces epsilon so finding out for, for so for finding the predictive parsing table first thing we have to do is we have to calculate the first set of all the non terminals of given grammar which are produce which are providing production rules so firstly calculating the first set of a first set of a can be calculated by calculating first of a a a b union first of capital b small b capital b small a so let's calculate first of capital a small a capital a small b which should be equal to first of a as a is producing here epsilon so in this case we will also un union it with first of sorry firstly we will minus epsilon to minus epsilon and union it with first of a a b which will give us this is epsilon minus epsilon it will cancel out union a so here a would be the answer for the first of a a a b now calculating first of capital b small b capital b a similarly the answer for first of b b b a would be this as we have done in above calculation it will come similarly so now calculating first of s it would come a union b which is equal to a comma b and here we have mm, where yeah first of a we have epsilon and first of b is also epsilon after calculating the first set we need to calculate follow set for the calculation of for the construction of ll1 parsing table so now follow of s follow of s would be equal to dollar as we have learned how to calculate follow set the follow of any starting symbol is always dollar 
then follow of a with it will come as a small a comma small b since in production rule s2 capital a small a capital a b a is followed by both a and b let me write it here mm. <coughs> wait <coughs> since in production rule as to capital a small a capital a small b a is followed by both a and b okay let me make its font bigger so you can watch it so you can read it okay now it's fine that we will compute the follow of b it will come as small b comma a as here you can see that b is followed by this b and this b and similarly in this case a was followed by small a and small b ok so here will be also the same reason since in production rule S2 capital B small a small b capital B small a b is followed by both b and a ok after that now we will construct to the LL1 parsing table so constructing LL1 parsing table So here is the pointer. Okay. Okay. So here, firstly, we will have non-terminals in this column S, A, and B. And after that, here we will have terminals which are A, B, and dollar. Okay. Now we will firstly see the first of S. So here we go first of S. First of S is this um, A comma B. So in here we will write the production rule from which we have got the first of s this has we have got s2 by s2 this production rule we have got b by this production rule then after that we will see first of a which is epsilon so when we get epsilon after that we will see the follow of s so follow of s contains sorry follow of a so follow of a contains a comma b now we will calculate for a and b so follow of a and b contains epsilon so where in which case first of any non terminal contains um, say epsilon then we will see the follow set so here we will we can see that follow of a contains a comma b and follow of b also contains b comma a so here we, we will write the production rule as 
वेट हेयर या ए टू एफ साइलेंट एंड हेयर आल्सो ए टू एफ साइलेंट एंड हेयर बी टू एफ साइलेंट एंड हेयर आल्सो बी टू सॉरी बी टू एफ साइलेंट एंड दिस इज अवर प्रिडिक्टिव पार्सिंग टेबल and yeah i for uh, i'm sorry by mistake i have a, a written first of a instead of first of s this must be first of s okay so don't think that it, it is first of a it is first of s first of a is epsilon that is we have to here and here we have to first of s that is my mistake it was written as first of a okay Okay thank you for watching this tutorial by www.codes.com for more such tutorials please subscribe to our youtube channel and also like it and share it thank you